Mikey, it looks like we're really stuck here. This red circle, you see that island over there in the distance? The villagers are stranded there and they're surrounded by the ocean. We're their only hope. I'm not sure how we got here, but one thing's for sure, we can't get out of it unless we find a way to survive. You're right, JJ. The circle is here for a reason. It's a challenge, and it's not for the faint of heart. We're not here for ourselves. We have to survive for those on the island. They may have no food, no water, and time is playing against us. We don't just have to survive. We have to find a way to help them. Once we have wood, we can make a workbench and at least the most basic tools. Finally, let's get down to the real thing. All right, we got him. Now let's go back. Let's build a workbench and get our tools ready. At the very least, let's make an axe and a pickaxe. We can use them to dig and chop faster. And maybe we can get some stone somewhere underground inside the circle. All right, let's do it. We need to use this tree wisely. Do what we need to do to survive. There goes our first workbench. It's like a small victory, but it gives us hope. Now, let's get on with the tools and move on. Done! Now I have a pickaxe. I'm gonna go down under the water and try to get some stone. If we can make stone tools, we can build stronger things and be better prepared to survive. Good idea, JJ, but be careful. The water can hide dangers we don't even realize we have. You know there could be predators in these places. Don't go down too deep or stay down too long. Don't worry, Mikey. I can handle it. I just need to find some blocks of stone and come back. I'll try to make it quick. JJ, you've been underwater too long. Come back! Something tells me there's something wrong here. Okay, I hear you. I'm on my way up. Got enough rock for a few tools so I can... Oh no, Mikey, you were right. There's a shark. We gotta get out of here now. What, a shark? Quick, JJ, swim to shore, don't stop. Mikey, I can't leave it like this. That shark's gonna be here until we deal with it. If it decides to attack next time, it could be too late. I can't let us be left defenseless. JJ, be careful. You know she's faster than you in the water. It's done. I did it. The shark is no longer a threat to us. You did it, JJ. I can't believe my eyes. You killed the shark. It was crazy, but you did it. Yes, it wasn't easy, but now we can feel safe. The water is no longer a threat to us. For now. Now we can focus on surviving without worrying about something jumping out of the water and grabbing us. I agree. But let's just agree we're not going to do any more crazy attacks like that, okay? I almost went gray when you fought that shark. I got some food while you were fighting that shark and breaking rocks. I agree, Mikey. No more crazy attacks. Well, unless it's absolutely necessary, let's eat. I see you got enough food to last us two days for sure. Finally, some food. This is very important, especially now that we don't have many resources. Meat and fish should help us replenish our strength after the morning's adventures. I agree. Good thing we found that piece of land with the tree and got the stone. Without tools and food, we definitely wouldn't have made it. We should check again to see if there's anything useful left around here. Zombies! They're coming right at us! We have no weapons, just these sticks. How are we going to fight back? Nothing. We have no choice. We have to stop them before they get to us. Stay close, Mikey, and hit as hard as you can. Take that! The stick may not be a sword, but it still works. JJ, how are you doing? I'm managing, but there's more and more of them. We have to fight them off as quickly as possible, or we'll just be surrounded. There seems to be an infinite number of them. What do we do? We can't hold on much longer. Phew, we survived. Just a little more and it would have been over, but we made it through. JJ, look, I think there's another tree growing. It's on the same little patch of land outside the circle. We could really use this. That's lucky. Some more resources to help us survive. Cut it down and we can finally make a chest to store stuff in and maybe even craft swords for defense. I agree. Enough of these sticks. It's time to do something more serious. I'm gonna swim out and cut him down. Be careful, Mikey. Yesterday's shark isn't the only thing lurking in the water. Don't worry, JJ. I'm on my guard. Besides, it's daytime and we know it's a little safer during the day. Now we have even more wood. Let's craft a chest. Finally, we can store all our resources in one place so we don't lose anything. We definitely need a chest. We already have a lot of stuff piled up and soon we will need to organize all the materials. Now we have a place to store things without having to carry everything with us. Well, Mikey, it's time to go to the depths again. If we can dig down and find an underwater mine, we can get rock, coal, or maybe even iron. That would give us a huge boost. Yesterday's shark made me realize that the dangers here can be unexpected. 
But if we don't start mining, we'll be without resources, and we need more tools and materials to survive and help the villagers on the island. Great, I think I'm on the right track. There's plenty of stone here. Looks like I've stumbled upon an old mine. An abandoned mine? It could be anything, but it looks completely untouched. We should be on the lookout. Who knows what could be lurking here? But if I'm lucky, I might find valuable resources or tools. Cave spiders. This is bad timing. You have to be careful. They're poisonous. But I have a sword, and I'm not going down without a fight. Gotcha. But there are too many of them. We have to be quicker. These things are too fast, but I won't let them get the upper hand. They're not much of a threat to me. I've got it. The cave spiders weren't so scary if you kept your distance. Now, we need to keep exploring the mine. Maybe there's something valuable in here that can help me and Mikey down the road. Let's see what this mysterious mine holds. Hopefully it's rich in resources. Not to say I got a lot of resources, but still better than nothing. I don't see Mikey anywhere, though he usually meets me when I surface. What's with the, uh, mast? Looks like a ship. But how did it get so close to the island? Mikey, what's going on out there? Who are those people? Well, you're finally here, boy. We've been waiting a long time for you. Your friend is in my hands, and if you want to see him in one piece again, you'll have to pay the ransom. Otherwise, he's going to the sharks. Let him go, pirate. I won't give you any ransom. We can defend ourselves, and we won't let you take advantage of the situation. JJ, look out! These pirates are very dangerous. They demand gold or valuables in exchange for my freedom, but don't give in to them. I'm not gonna pay you for his life. We'll find another way. If you think you can intimidate us, you're sorely mistaken. All right, if you want a war, you'll have one. You'll regret your decision. You're not the first person to try to intimidate me, but this island is our home, and I won't let you and your men ruin it. You underestimated us. We're stronger than you think. You did it, JJ. I knew you could do it. That pirate didn't know who he was messing with. There is no one on the ship. It seems the pirate was alone. I was naive to think I would give him gold in exchange for you. Now that we've dealt with this threat, we have access to this ship. Look how big it is. A whole ship. We'll be able to explore the ocean and save the villagers on the neighboring island. This is just awesome. Yes, and now we have a chance to get out of this circle. We'll be able to connect with the others, as well as find something of value while we explore. Let's get busy getting ready while we have time. I never thought we would be exploring the ocean on a pirate ship. This is so much fun. We need to get everything cleaned up and ready to sail. Agreed. Let's start by checking what supplies we have and fixing what we need. We can get out to sea and maybe even find other people who are also in danger. You know, JJ, even though this ship looks amazing, we still need to focus on surviving inside this circle. We can't just leave without being prepared. You're right, Mikey. The red circle still surrounds us, and we need to secure our supplies. I'll go up into the waters and try to get some iron and coal. It'll be good for our tools and crafting. I'll dive deeper and try to find something useful. With any luck, we can make new tools and maybe even improve our defenses. Be careful, JJ. Water can hide dangers, and we don't want any more trouble. If you see anything unusual, come back immediately. You're back. How'd it go? Did you find anything useful? Yes, I've got it. I've got iron and coal. That should help us build new tools, but I thought we should also think about how to survive in the long term. What do you mean? I'm gonna take some soil and saplings from the chest and plant trees around it. This will not only provide us with wood, but it will also give us shade and shelter. We can create a small plantation. That's a great idea. We could definitely use the wood. Now, we just have to wait for them to grow. I hope that we will be able to collect wood and fruit from these trees in the future. Soon it will be like a real forest in here. And with a new supply of wood, we'll be able to make new tools, chests, and maybe even a house to shelter from danger. Yeah, that's right. We can build a cozy place where we feel safe. And now we have the resources to continue surviving in this red circle. That's right. We don't just survive. We begin to build our own lives in this place. Hey, Mikey, here's your ax. We need to cut down some trees that have grown nearby. That'll give us plenty of wood so we can make new tools and buildings. You can start with those trees over there on the beach. Thank you, JJ. I was just about to suggest that. The trees here have really grown fast, and we're going to need the wood. I'm gonna go fishing for a while. We should stock up on food just in case. Is that okay with you? Sure, just don't forget to come back when I'm done. We need to stay in touch, even when we're busy. Hopefully, I'll get lucky. Fishing has always been a great way for me to relax and get some rest. 
Besides, fresh fish is a great source of food. What's up, Mikey? Have you been able to harvest a lot of wood? Yes, I'm almost done with this wood. That's a lot of wood. You got a lot of fish? I don't know how much I've caught in the meantime, but we've got enough to eat. So if you're done with the trees, we can roast it together over a fire. We have a full dinner coming up. With your fish and my resources, we're sure to have a great evening. What a day today! Catching fish, harvesting wood, and now we have the opportunity to enjoy a delicious dinner. It's definitely the best time to be outdoors. Yeah, I think so too. We've done better than we expected. I can't even believe we're surviving this red circle. Come to think of it, a few days ago we didn't even know how it was going to go. That's right. And now we have food, shelter, and even plans for the future. I think we're only getting stronger every day. And we have access to a new ship that we can use for research. Can you imagine what it would be like to take a trip out to sea? We could find new islands, resources, and maybe even other survivors. That would be great. I agree. But first, we need to make sure we survive here. I don't want us to get caught by zombies or pirates again. We need more resources and better defenses. Okay, Mikey, it's time for us to do something a little more serious. I'm crafting myself and you an iron helmet and sword so we can better defend ourselves against zombies. If they attack again, we need to be ready. That's a great idea. We have plenty of iron and I agree that we need to prepare. I don't want us to get caught off guard like last time. And then if the zombies show up again, we can repel them together. There, now we have everything we need. Let's wait for the night and be ready. If zombies appear again, we'll deal with them quickly. Look, they're coming. It's time to act. Don't let them get too close. We have to keep our distance and hit them when they get close. Come on, Mikey. We have an advantage if we work together. Hit them one at a time. I got it. Look, I'll push this one away. We're doing it. Look how easily we drive them away. It'll work. We must stick together and defend our home. Even if they attack, we will not give up. That's right. We are a team, and we will survive this night together. These zombies don't give up. How many more are there, JJ? They seem to be coming from all directions. I don't know, but we can't let them get too close. Keep your distance and hit them when they get close. Don't forget that we have cover to hide behind. All right, work your ass off. As soon as they're close, hit them hard. Get away from me. Thanks, Mikey. We have to stay by each other's side. Look, I think they're starting to retreat. We're doing it. Yeah, let's not stop. Push them. We can't let them come back. We did it. We beat them back. I can't believe we did it. We just tackled a whole horde of zombies. When I see them retreating, I feel so relieved. I feel like a real hero. Can you imagine if we hadn't worked so well together? What would have happened? We'd probably just get trampled. You're right, JJ. I never thought I could fight a crowd like that. And I especially didn't think we could win. Do you remember when they were just climbing all over us? It was so scary, but you were so brave to throw yourself into the fight. I thought it was going to end badly, but your punches were so powerful. I was just following you and trying to keep up the pace. We were a real team. Not only did you handle them well. We're good. So JJ, you ready to go to this mysterious place? I've heard that an abandoned mine can have great resources, but at the same time, it can be dangerous. Who knows what's out there waiting for us? There will always be dangers, but we can't let fear stop us. Think of the resources we could find. Iron, coal, maybe even diamonds. That's exactly what we need to improve our equipment and defenses. We'll make it through, as we always have. You're right. If we can find iron, we can create stronger tools and even armor. This will improve our chances of surviving in the future. And if we run into monsters, we'll be ready. Yes, but we have to be careful. We don't know what might be lurking in the dark. If we come across zombies or other monsters, it's important not to be confused. We have to stay in touch and act as a team. But now I have an iron sword and I'm ready for any challenge. We won't be intimidated by zombies in this mine, even if they try again. When we get to the depths, I'm sure we'll find plenty of useful resources. But don't forget that we must also make sure we don't run into any traps. Abandoned mines can be full of surprises. Mikey, I just had an amazing idea. We need to find the lava. If we can get to it, we can build a portal to hell. It could open up a whole new world of resources and possibilities. A nether portal? Are you serious? That sounds a little dangerous. We don't even know what awaits us there. But on the other hand, if hell has rare materials... Yes, I realize it's risky, but think of the benefits. If we can build this portal and access the nether, we can mine resources that are not available to us on our island. 
All we need to do is find lava and then use obsidian to create the portal. Okay, but how are we going to do this? It's not like we don't know where to look for lava. We have to be prepared for everything, monsters and traps. Are you sure it's not too risky? Look at this, we found lava. It's glowing so brightly and what an eerie sound. It's just amazing. The lava is dangerous and we don't want to fall into it. We have to find a way to get the obsidian out of the lava. We'll need to pour water over the lava to turn it into obsidian. This is it, we're on the surface and now we have all the conditions to finish what we started. Come on, we need to get as much obsidian as possible to build the portal. Yeah, I'm ready. We need at least 10 blocks of obsidian for the portal, but let's gather a little more just in case. Done! We have 12 blocks of obsidian. Let's hurry up and get our stuff together and start building the portal. It's going to be incredible. I dropped one block. Can you pick it up, Mikey? Yes, no problem. One block separates us from an unforgettable adventure. Come on, let's do it. The portal to hell awaits us, and I'm ready for a new adventure. We're finally getting off this island.